So we've all heard the saying, pain is inevitable, suffering is optional. Something that I tried to really ingrain to the reader in my book is give purpose to your pain. Make it for, for something. The message of my book is to give purpose to our pain. In other words, you know, if we suffer, when we suffer, especially childhood trauma, give that pain purpose, make it worth something. It could not have been all for nothing. Does that make sense? Sure, we're victims. There's a lot of victims out there, but we can choose not to live as a victim. We can turn that victim mentality into strength. We can give our pain fuel, use it as fuel, uh, fire under our bellies to inspire others to share their own stories. Because, and I've said it before, when we share our stories, we feel less alone. When we feel less alone, the anguish sort of elevates because we know we're not the only ones out there that are going through a hard time. So give purpose to your pain, man. It's the only way to do it. And if you don't know how, it's okay. It's okay to not know how. Just have faith and hang on that whatever you're going through, there's a purpose. And there's a lesson and it's always wrapped in painful packages. But there's a lesson in there. For some reason, it will surface when it's supposed to. Just hang in there. You're not alone. And whatever pockets of sunshine that you can get, grab onto those, man. Because happiness is a good thing as well. And sometimes we're so wrapped up in our sadness that we can have blinders on and not see the good stuff. And I always say this, the little things are the big things. When you're walking your dog and a stranger smiles at you, uh, somebody opens the door for someone who has a stroller, that kind of stuff. There is kindness out there and compassion and empathy. So make sure you, your heart and your eyes are open to it. Have a good day.